Hello everybody! Welcome to my channel. I'm Yarda and I'm going to talk to you today about a very important topic when it comes to health. And that is the topic of inflammation. If you want to learn more about what inflammation is, what causes it, what um, the consequences of it are, then keep on watching. Inflammation is actually a natural occurring phenomenon in the body which happens when we are unaware that our body is fighting something. For example, when you catch a virus and you have fever, that is a good thing. You want the fever to happen up to a certain level because it fights that virus. And that is called inflammation. When you catch yourself and you know how it becomes red around the wound, that is needed for the skin to come back and close itself and heal. That is inflammation. Those kind of inflammation, when inflammation happens in, in, in that kind of uh, way, it is a good thing. It is healing. So why do I talk so much about inflammation um, on my Instagram page and on my blog? And why is it relevant to us to stay healthy? When inflammation happens for a sustained um, length of time, due to stress factors that can be really harmful for your health. Let me explain. When, let's say, you're, you're exposed to an environmental factor or to, to some kind of allergen, let's say, you are intolerant to dairy, you don't know about it, you keep having dairy on a regular basis, your body knows something's wrong, so it's trying to fight it, and you produce inflammation. As long as you're having dairy, your body will get inflamed. When that happens for a length of time, you are much more at risk of many diseases. Indeed, so many conditions are caused by inflammation. Heart attacks, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, cancers, psoriasis, arthritis, asthma, Alzheimer's, I could go on and on and on and on. So many ailments are caused by inflammation. I've always been interested in health from as long as I can remember, and that is thanks to my dad, who's a very uh, health conscious person. He, he exercises a lot and has always taught me the importance of eating well. However, there's so much information out there, it's so confusing. You hear that you should be vegan. Oh, you should totally cut out meat products. Oh, you can't have any gluten. Oh, there is the culprit. Mm, how about a raw diet? Uh, what about a keto diet? You hear all these things and it can get confusing and you're like, hold on, which is the way to live a healthy life? Um, I care about my body. I want to be well. What shall I follow? And interestingly, Every person who, people who are advocates of a certain way of eating or living are quite uh, intense about it. I suffer from two autoimmune conditions. The first one is called ulcerative. It's an um, inflammatory bowel disease. It's like IBS on speed. And the other one is a much rarer one called autoimmune hemolytic anemia. I have spent a lot of time in and out of hospitals 2012, 2013, I had to get weekly transfusions to, to stay alive. Anyway, this is not about me. What I have learned through that, through all my years of research, because doctors clearly couldn't fix me. I had a gastroenterologist, I had a hematologist, I was taking so many medications, I was taking steroids, um, immunosuppressants, really strong stuff, and nothing worked. So I started researching it and trying all these different diets, lifestyles, changes and the one thing, the one thing that got me better and that made me understand that everyone should pay attention to it was bringing inflammation down in my body to avoid all these things that I have just mentioned. And most of you guys, hopefully, are symptoms free. But you know, you hear sometimes, oh, but he was really well and suddenly he got or she got diagnosed with cancer. Why is that? Well, 
there is that state of perfect health here and there is that time here where you're actually sick and you are in a doctor's office or in a hospital. And most people, as long as they are somewhere on this line, they think they're here perfectly healthy. My aim is to teach you and to pass on the knowledge that I have gained over these years to stay closer to the perfect stage of health versus being in the doctor's office like I have been. That is living an anti-inflammatory lifestyle. Because it's not just about diet. A lot of things can bring your inflammation markers up. One of them which is super important is stress. You take any human being, any mouse, and you put them under a very stressful time for a long period of time, stressful conditions for a long period of time, they're bound to develop something. And we all know it when we're stressed, our tummy hurts, we catch a virus, we're exhausted, it does affect our health. And also exercise. I will cover all this in you know videos to come, but some exercises, so a type of exercise, can increase your inflammation levels and some other can decrease them. For example, one type of exercise which has helped me greatly in bringing my inflammation markers down was slow yoga. Because it's not very strenuous and you do a lot of breathing and it has been shown that breathing exercising bring cortisol levels down in the body and that means lower stress. I hope um, this was clear enough and that you get a bit of a better idea of what inflammation is and why you should be paying attention to that. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. You can reach out to me through my Facebook page, Eat, Burn, Sleep, my Instagram page, Eat, Burn, Sleep, and on the comments below. If you enjoy this, please do not hesitate to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and don't hesitate to like this video. Thank you.